स्टोरी इंटेलिजेंट ब्राह्मण वंस अ रिच मैन नेम्ड सीता मल यूज टू लिव इन अ विलेज ही वॉज अ माइजर हु एवर यूज टू कम टू हिम फॉर आर्म्स ही ऑलवेज वेंट एम्टी हैंडेड द रिच मैंस वाइफ कमला वॉज अ वेल मैनर्ड लेडी बट ड्यू टू हर हजबेंड शी हैड टू बी क्वाइट लिसन डियर शुड आई गो टू द टेम्पल एंड ऑफर सम फ्रूट्स वॉट वॉट नॉन सेंस आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट नो नो No offering is needed at all. One day a very old lady comes to his door steps. Old lady. My dear, please give me something to eat. Wait mother, I'll get some food for you. Saying this, she goes inside the house to get some food. Right then the rich man returns from outside and sees the old lady and says, "Hey old lady, what are you doing here?" No no you won't get anything here now go from here the old lady leaves from there and right then kamla comes out with the plate full of food seeing this the rich man gets furious with her okay so you do all this behind my back whatever i earn you donate that to these hungry needy people no my dear don't say like that the old lady was very hungry today that is why i got some food for her Okay now let's go inside Kamla comes home with a heavy heart but the rich man remains unaffected by all this Okay listen tomorrow i have to go to the neighboring village for some work i will get late returning if someone comes and asks for anything then do not give them anything the next day the rich man goes to the neighboring village he gets late while returning it's dark night and he has to cross the jungle He gets very tense suddenly as it was dark and it was empty jungle. He starts praying to God immediately. Dear God, if you help me cross this thick and scary jungle, then I will feed 500 Brahmins. Please help me, God. Having said this, he gathered some courage and he starts walking ahead. After he crosses one fourth of the jungle, then he says, "Five hundred is too many people." What is the need to feed so many of them? I will only feed hundred people. When he crosses half of the jungle, then he says, "Even hundred is a lot to feed. I will end up spending a lot of money. Why should I waste my hard-earned money like this? I will only feed fifty people." And now, when he crosses the entire jungle, then he says, "What is the need to feed fifty people?" Whether I feed fifty or one, it's all the same thing. As such, feeding fifty people is very expensive affair. I will feed only one man. Upon reaching home, the rich man narrates the entire incident to his wife. Okay, my dear, but this does not seem correct. You had committed to feeding five hundred saints first, right? Now feeding just one won't be correct. You keep quiet. Do you even know that how expensive it is to feed five hundred people at one time? And you know that money does not grow on trees. Dear, we don't have dearth of money at all. With God's grace, we have more than enough, right? If we use a little from this wealth and feed some people, we will only earn blessings from them. Enough now. You keep your ideas to yourself. You don't tell me all of this. Now I have to look for a person who eats very less, so that less food is made for him. The next day, he starts his search for a saint. Who would eat very less food? On the way, he starts asking everyone he met that in the village who is the smallest eater of all. Hey, listen, brother. How much do you eat, brother? What sort of question is this, Sir Ji? First, answer my question. What I'm asking. I can eat four rotis, a little rice, some pulses, and some vegetables. Oh, that's a lot of food. Why? What happened, sir? No, no, nothing. But tell me one thing: in our village, which Brahmin eats the least amount of food? Rama Kanti eats the least amount of food, sir. Whenever we go for any celebration, he is the first one to finish his food and leave. Oh, is that so? Well, okay, I will leave now. Sita Mal directly goes to Rama Kanti's house and he tells him, Rama Kanti. 
कम टू माई हाउस फॉर लंच टूमोरो प्लीज I will surely come, said Ji. The next day, when Sita Mal was about to leave for work, he tells his wife, "Listen, Kamla, I have invited Rama Kant for lunch today. Feed him well and take care of him." Sure, my dear. I will take care of everything. Don't worry at all. Rama Kant hears the whole conversation from outside. The moment Sita Mal leaves for work, Rama Kant enters the house and says, "I was just passing by your house." I am supposed to come for lunch later today so I thought I would let you know of my favorite food Yes yes tell me please Ramakant gives a slip of paper to Kamla and he says that all his favorite food items are listed on this slip All right see you in the evening I'll make all the necessary arrangements don't worry at all Thank you As discussed earlier Ramakant reaches Sita Mal's house in the afternoon As per his instructions his food was ready already Kamla makes him sit for lunch Ramakant has brought with him a big lunch box and a banana leaf also He keeps each of the food items on the banana leaf and says Child this is God's offering but this is not accepted by him unless a gold coin is also offered along with it Kamla gives him a gold coin. Ramakant starts chanting mantras in his mind and after that he places the remaining food in the box and he keeps the gold coin inside his pouch and then he starts having his food. Your hospitality is really appreciable but the offering to a brahman remains incomplete till he is not gifted with a gold coin along with the food. Kamla gives another gold coin to Ramakant. Ramakant leaves the house with two gold coins and a box full of food while on his way he thinks to himself I have duped the rich man's wife when he hears of this he will surely come to my house with this in mind he makes a plan he goes home and explains this plan to his wife you understood right you will do exactly as i said to you okay dear When Sita Mal comes to know that Ramakant has cheated him he gets very angry and he goes to Ramakant's house but when Sita Mal reaches outside Ramakant's house he sees that Ramakant's wife is crying very loudly Oh dear god what has happened to him how did he become unwell all of a sudden Kanta starts accusing Sita Mal in anger You had invited my husband for lunch right what did you feed him I'm sure you poisoned him That's why since he has come back from your house after having lunch he is unconscious Hearing this Sita Mal is in a state of panic He had come to fight with Ramakant but the situation is way worse here he says What has happened to Ramakant I have not poisoned him at all If you have really not poisoned him then how is this happening how will I get his treatment done I don't even have money Hey please listen to me please stop crying I will give you 10 more gold coins so that you can get ramakan treated i will bring the coins from home right now sita mal quickly rushes home and comes back to ramakan with 10 gold coins and gives it to kanta oh, take this get ramakan treated with this money but do not tell anyone about this incident okay okay saying this sita mal goes away from there ramakan sits up the moment he leaves the house and says see how i taught him a lesson This man is always cheating everyone. He makes people work and does not even pay them. Now he would have understood not to cheat a brahmin ever again. Upon reaching home Sita Mal apologizes to God and he says, "Dear God, please forgive me. Please save Ramakant's life. If anything happens to him, then I will be in a lot of trouble. And after today I will never misbehave with anyone ever." <laughs> 